People often say things like uh, quantum physics proves spirituality or your thoughts collapse into reality. But is any of that actually true? Today we will explore what's real and what's not when it comes to quantum physics and spirituality. Welcome to Quantum Coffee with Daniele. I'm Daniele, I'm a theoretical physics, physicist and physics professor. And here we turn complex idea into simple human stories. Before to dive in, don't forget to subscribe to be able to see the upcoming contents. And this will also help others to find the channel and know more about physics. Quantum physics introduced a world that doesn't behave like everyday life. Particle existing in many possible states at once. Outcomes that aren't predictable. Strange correlation over distance. And all of these feel mysterious, almost spiritual. So it's understandable that people try to connect the two. Concepts like superposition, entanglement and quantum randomness genuinely challenge our intuition. They show that the universe isn't fixed or mechanical, it's dynamic, it's probabilistic and interconnected in surprising ways. This raises powerful philosophical questions about free will, uh, reality and the nature of the universe. But there is no evidence so far that our thoughts directly shape physical outcomes. Let's clear up the most common misconceptions. Your mind collapses the wave function. No, in quantum mechanics an observer is any physical interaction, a detector, not human consciousness. To make this clearer, consider what quantum theory actually says. For example, before a measurement, a particle doesn't have a single defined position. It's not here or there. Instead, it's described by a wave function, which represents a spread of possible location. Only when you measure it, you do get a specific outcome, what we call position X where X is just the coordinate that the, the detector happens to register. And this collapse is stochastic. That means it's fundamentally random. Even if thousand people gather together shouting, choose position X, this result wouldn't change. Quantum systems don't respond to intention. They follow probability. Myth number two. Entanglement means spiritual unity or telepathy. No, entanglement creates correlation, not communication or shared thoughts. Myth number three. Quantum physics proves manifestation or the law of attra attraction. Quantum uncertainty is not a tool for influencing reality with your mind. So uh, what is the real beauty? Even without the myths, quantum physics is incredibly inspiring. It reveals universe, a universe that's open, creative and deeply different from what uh, we experience every day. It shows us that certainty is an illusion, that reality is built from probability and that nature operates in ways beyond classical intuition. And this is the sense of wonder, mystery, possibility is where science and spirituality truly met. Not in one proving the other, but in the question they both invite us to ask. Thoughts are powerful, but not because they collapse the wave function. They have power because they shape our emotion, our decision and our behavior. What we think influences how we act, how we interpret situation and how we respond to challenges. And this can completely change the outcomes in our life. The brain doesn't seem to operate at quantum scales. Neurons communicate through electrochemical signals, 
not through superposition or entanglement. And the process that create thoughts uh, are, uh, are warm, a large, warm and noisy, normally the opposite of the condition needed for quantum effects to survive. Though a few respected scientists have suggested that consciousness might involve quantum effects, these are very interesting theoretical proposal, but they remain unproven. At the moment, we have no experiment, experimental evidence that the brain maintains uh, the kind of quantum coherence needed for such model to work. So for now, the power of the mind is best explained through biology, psychology, psychology and neuroscience, not quantum mechanics. If you enjoyed this, drop a, a, a like and keep yourself ready for uh, the next conversation on physics quantum science and future of technology, all in the time it takes to drink a coffee. And tell me in the comments, do you think quantum physics uh, says something about consciousness? Bye bye!